If you're familiar at all with the channel, you know we play a ton of Hello Kitty Island Adventure, and soon a whole bunch more people are going to be able to play it too. Because today in the Nintendo Direct and in a ton of follow-up articles and in announcements from Sunblink, we found out that Hello Kitty Island Adventure is finally coming to platforms beyond Apple Arcade. It's coming to the Nintendo Switch and PC via Steam in early 2025, and it's coming to PS4 and 5 sometime after that. If you're not familiar with the game, check out the channel. We have a ton of guides, live streams, and there's a review to give you a pretty good overview, at least pretty early on in the games. We get updates every three weeks, major updates every six weeks, and there is so much in this game. It's like a mashup of Animal Crossing and Zelda with a Sanrio spin on it, and a whole bunch more. I've been looking through the articles and the press releases to see if we could find out anything else. One of the articles makes it sound like really big updates will come to Apple Arcade first and then to the other platforms. Everything seems to agree microtransactions will not be a part of the game, so that's going to be a carryover. No microtransactions ever for Hello Kitty Island Adventure, which is one of the best features of it coming from being an Apple Arcade game. However, one of the articles does say that there'll be a mix of free and paid updates on those other platforms. I would not be surprised if we saw major DLC for this game. It's already so expansive. And for those of us playing on Apple Arcade right now, remember 2.0 is coming later in the summer. I'm anticipating it around our one year anniversary of the game. And remember we have 1.8 in between now and 2.0. We're going to skip the 1.9 numbering. And I think we could see 1.8 as early as next week. That would keep us on our six week schedule. I'm not sure if it's going to be altered knowing that 2.0 is coming up as well, but in a Digital Trends article, we got a little information about 2.0, and it says 2.0 will bring another explorable island to the game. Another island. We are one year in and we are getting a second island. Knowing how expansive our current island is, I wonder what this is going to be. Four years in and we still don't have a second Animal Crossing island, even on the same Switch. And they say that 2.0 will probably come with an unidentified fan requested feature that's standard in life simulators. I have no idea what that could be, unless it's simply being able to water more than one flower at a time. But that means that the Switch version is going to launch with both islands in the game. Switch players are going to start out with two islands. Can you imagine what this game will be like playing it for the first time with all the content that's here? Those of us playing on the Apple Arcade version as it comes out, as it goes throughout the year. So we're going bit by bit, but there is going to be so much in this game. I do wonder what the price point is going to be. We don't know yet, but there is easily enough in this game to make it a full price Switch game. I think they'll get far more players if it's not, but if it is, know that there is plenty of content and there are holiday events that'll be playable on all platforms together. One thing that's really great about Hello Kitty Island Adventure is if you're thinking, oh, I'm going to play on Switch. I'm going to have missed an entire year and a half worth of content. It's a no FOMO game. So if you miss an event, all of those event items come back in the future so you can still get them. And there's new event items so that you can still experience that holiday each year and something is always going to be fresh. I think this is something that Animal Crossing players wish we had in that game, and it's one of the many things that I think Sunblink is doing so well with this game. Now one thing that current players have been asking about, will we be able to bring our Apple Arcade saves over to the Switch? Now because console, PC, and Apple Arcade may be getting updates at different times, we aren't going to see cross-save or cross-play between the Apple Arcade version and the other platforms. This means if you have been playing on Apple Arcade, you won't be able to port your save over and play that same save over on your Switch. And if you start a save on the Switch, it's unlikely that you'd be able to bring that save over to your Apple Arcade account. That means those of us who've been playing on Apple Arcade, if we want to play on Switch or PC, we'll have to start a new save. I was hoping we would still be able to play multiplayer between platforms because I'm thinking of other games like Disney Dreamlight Valley that are on Apple Arcade and PC and Switch. Don't let us play our same save between Apple Arcade and PC and Switch. They 
they can play their save between PC and Switch, just not Apple Arcade, but all three can do multiplayer together. However, with the way that it sounds like they'll be structuring updates, your Apple Arcade game could be on a different version than the other platforms, and we know you need to be on the same version in order for multiplayer to work, so it sounds very unlikely that we'll be able to have cross-platform multiplayer work. It does sound like we'll still be able to have multiplayer within each platform, so if you're a Switch player, you could play with other Switch players, but if you're on Apple Arcade, it sounds like you'll only be able to play with other Apple Arcade players, because if updates are coming to Apple Arcade first, that means we're going to be playing on a slightly newer version than the Switch and the PC, which would make cross-save and cross-play pretty complicated. It'll probably be a bit before we know for sure any of the details about how the Switch version will work, how the PC version will work, is it gonna work on Steam Deck? Because they said in one of the articles that it's gonna be releasing on Steam. I would think so, given how well it works in handheld right now, and that it's coming to the Switch. We do know that the PC version will have keyboard and mouse support from the beginning, and I would assume it's probably going to have controller support. It has all of those and touchscreen across the various Apple Arcade devices, so there's already a model in place for how those tools could work on the other platforms, so I'm hopeful it'll be Steam Deck compatible as well, and that makes it seem like releasing on PC and Switch first makes a lot of sense because all of them have that multi-play style supported. Having a Steam Deck that you can hook up to your TV or your monitor or you can play on computer, the Switch you can play handheld or docked, on Apple Arcade you can play on your phone, your iPad, your computer, your Apple TV, and you can plug most of those things into a TV and play with a controller. So we'll have to wait and see on all of the details as they become official and as we get closer to the release date, as we know things can change over time, but I'm really excited that a whole ton of new players are going to be able to join us in Hello Kitty Island Adventure in early 2025. But before then, we have the 1.8 update coming soon and the 2.0 update coming sometime this summer with a whole new island. A whole new island. That's like a whole new game. I was considering starting a new save file of the game for the 2.0 update, but it sounds like we're going to have a whole new island to explore and I'll probably be starting a new save when it comes to Switch. And with at least two years of story content ahead of it and more after that if people keep playing, I don't see this game going anywhere soon. Subscribe for more Hello Kitty Island adventure content and check out the shop for game-inspired designs. Turn on notifications to find out the next time we go live. Hope to see you there.